Hi, George here, and I wanted to talk about easy color correction for an image. Now, normally I'll take my time with color correction. I'll use a lot of the advanced tools. I may even go so far with a picture like this as to put the background and the hair and the top on their own separate layers so that I can color adjust each one separately and get it absolutely perfect. But I'll show you an easy technique I've come up with here that you can get results like this very quickly. This may be a little too saturated, but I think it's much, much nicer than this result right here. And it's a good starting point. Once you get there, you can tweak if you want to, that's up to you. Now, the first thing to remember with color balance is that you aren't trying to make this perfectly accurate. What you're trying to do is make it pleasing. This may be a perfectly accurate image. If this picture was taken in an early afternoon and it was a heavy overcast day, this could be perfectly accurate coloration, but it's not as pleasing as it could be. So you wanna make this a more pleasing, interesting image. Also, if you go for a perfectly white balanced picture, that may not be the correct color balance for the image. If there's a strong color cast, for instance, if it's at sunset, there's gonna be very strong yellow orange cast to everything, including the whites. The whites should have yellow orange in them. If you made them pure white, you'd have the wrong color balance. So don't think of white balance as being the correct color balance in all cases. It oftentimes is, but it's frequently not as well. Okay, let me show you my trick I have in here. It's fast and easy. I'm just going to delete all of these layers here, get back to the original image like that. And the first thing I always do whenever I'm doing this kind of work on an image is I'll make a duplicate of the background. Right click where it says background, duplicate layer, choose OK, and then hide the background. I'm not doing anything destructive in here, but just in case, I still like doing this as a habit. So we have our safety layer right there. I went through and I looked at all of the different color adjusting tools in here, all the auto adjusting tools, everything. And some of these are great tools, some of them not so much, but I was looking for something that's fast and easy. And going through everything here, looking at everything in the guided section, including remove color cast right here. What I found was the easiest way to do this is here on the quick section. And it's the top option, smart fix. Now there's just one trick to know about in this and I'll show you that trick right now. So first click on smart fix. It's gonna go through and give you what it thinks is the best color, but this may not be the right one. You may wanna tweak this a bit. And for that, click on this arrow right over here, fine tune. This puts you back to zero adjustment. And then you can go from zero adjustment up here to full adjustment and simply go through and find what you think is the right one. I'm thinking somewhere around halfway through should be pretty good, maybe around 45, 46. If you want to, you can hit auto and see what that gives you. That gives me a setting of 40, I think a little bit more than that. So about 45, 46, that looks good to my eye. Now, obviously it's still not there yet. It's still a little low in contrast. It's still a little on the bluish side. We'll take care of those things next. Choose OK, and then go back over here to Advanced. You'll have a new layer up here. So here's our original copy layer, that's the original coloration, and here's this new one, much, much better, and that was very easy. And a lot of times, that's all you're going to have to do for your color correction. This one was way off, so it's gonna take more. So I wanna take a look at this and kind of decide where exactly is this off and how do I wanna adjust that. Most images are going to need a bit more contrast and a bit more saturation. So those are two givens. We can take a look at those first. Now with these, I like doing this as adjustment layers. Go up to layer, come down to new adjustment layer. I'll do levels first. I use previous layer right there. Choose okay. That limits this adjustment to just that one layer. So I'm not changing anything else in behind. Now here's the histogram for the values in the image. Notice that our black point is off the chart over here. There's a lot of darks in here. That's most of your background, but the black is way off the graph. So I'll pull this in a little bit so it comes in so that someplace in here we have a good solid black. It might be right in here, it might be up here right next to her eye, I don't really know, but there's a good solid black in here someplace. Same idea for the light side, the white. It's off the scale here, just pull it in just a little bit, not too far, if you go too far it blocks up like that, so just a little bit, but so it's into the value range in here, this is into the value range there. I'm thinking a little bit lighter, this is your mid-tone values, Go to the left, it's gonna lighten your mid-tones up just a little bit. Again, it's just a little tweak like that. So just a little bit in on the two sides and a little left in most cases on your mid-control and that's gonna get you really close. Now we can come in here and adjust these by separate channels. I don't think I need those in this case. Okay, let's close that one down. Let's now look at the color in here, the color contrast. It needs more color, so that's saturation. And we can do that. Go up to layer, new adjustment layer and hue saturation. Again, check that checkbox, choose okay. 
Now the hue is your actual color value in here. If I pull this to the left, it's going to go more into the greens and yellows. Pull it to the right, it's going to go more into the blues and magentas. I don't really want that. But you can get different colorations in here. This, by the way, is also how you change the color of hair. Mask that out as its own layer and then change it here with this control. I'll put this thing back to zero again. What I do need is more saturation. Just a little bit more. Again, too much does that. Too little it goes black and white. Just a little bit more. And for this one, it looks like maybe around, actually 19 looks pretty good. Maybe I'll go just up to 20. You also can type in a number here. Now the value here is going to be different for your different pictures, but it's going to be close to this most of the time. And that's the overall color saturation. Now she's a little washed out looking in her flesh tones. It's a little gray over in here. So we're a little low on the saturation just for the flesh tones. This is going to be mostly in your reds and your yellows. And we can do that up here. It says channel. Click on this, come down to reds. I'm going to increase my saturation for the reds just a little bit. If you look at her shoulder right down here, back here, it's looking a little grayed out. And up here, it's beginning to get some flesh tone in there. Okay, on this one, I think maybe 34. I don't want to go too far on this. Let's also do the yellows. Here we go. And let's check our saturation on that. A little bit more on the yellows. I think that helps. That's looking good. You can preview or not right down here. Here's before, here's after. That has more life to it. And finally, we can try to lower some of those blues. That'll either be in your blues or your cyans. Let's just bring our saturation down on that just a little bit. And that may help get rid of some of that gray effect. Actually, I'm not really seeing any change in here. Let's put this back to zero. I'm going to try our cyan. So it'll be one of the two. Okay, now I'm seeing some change in here on that, mostly in the hair. So let's knock that back just a little bit. And I think this is a lot better. Let's take a look at that. Let's hide this one. There's the original. And here's this new one. Again, it's a much more pleasing image. It's not necessarily accurate. As I stated at the beginning, this may be accurate for the lighting of the scene. But that's not what I care about. What I care about is if it's a pleasing image or not. And for that, I'm thinking more color and more contrast to make it a more pleasing image. Now, if you're not happy with these adjustments, because we have these as adjustment layers, you can double click on the icon. It brings the control back up again, and you can come in here and you can tweak these until you get a more pleasing setting for that. Maybe I'll bring down the midtones a bit here, just a little bit further down than I had. Darkens the background and makes her pop out a bit better. Now, if you want to learn more about how to use Photoshop Elements, this is Photoshop Elements 2025. I have a video course all about how to use Photoshop Elements. Different courses for different versions. I'll put a link for that at the top of the description. If you prefer having text-based training, where you actually have step-by-step -step instructions on all of these different tools and panels and so forth here inside of Photoshop Elements, I have a tool for that as well. It's called my HDG Photo Coach. And I'll put a link for that at the top of the description as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Also, make sure you click on subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you next time.